Hello, Sojourners. Uh, today I'm going to tell you about our progress of Komunda R&D. So let's start talking about what actually Komunda is. Um, it is open source platform for BPM and workflow and DMN decisions making automation. Uh, this platform ships with a set of tools. Some of the tools are free, others are paid. And by default, it consists of Modeller and KVMO for modeling the workflows. We use Modeller, it's free version. It's different from KVMO because KVMO also has collaborative editing of, of BPMN models. Also, as part of automation, there are a couple of apps here. The Cockpit app allows you monitoring your workflows and see their executions, uh, deploy them and administrate them. Task lists allows you tracking and completing user human tasks. And BPMN workflow engine is actually the core of Komundo, which allows you executing BPMN uh, definitions of workflows. And DMN as allows making decision based on DMN definition files. Also, there is paid tool named Optimize that allows you to optimize your work workflows. One of our client asked us to use Komunda for some uh, for for the use case when they had to show uh, a couple of forms for their customers, capture their answers, and do some scores calculation based on the previous answers, and then they had to make some decisions based on calculated score and the actual answers mm, from the forms. Also, as you can see, some forms are optional. For example, in the introduction form, users can select whether they are interested in payments or deposits. If yes, then we show the payments form with more details for payments or deposits form for more details about deposits. And then everything is calculated. The problem here is that this is a public facing system so forms will be publicly available for their end um, customers so they will not have access to the cockpit where the, you can see all the tasks and answer and fill the forms here so we did a research and found a way how it's possible to still define the forms in Komunda. is here we can set company name company type interest which is in ARM here, deposits, payments, both, you see. Uh, and the solution here is to write a custom application that will be a REST client to Komunda API and will behave like a custom task list application. So as part of that, we created a mm, separate application which has a Node.js on the backend for server-to-server -server communication and simple Angular application just to uh, run uh, the front end to render the forms dynamically. So once user uh, defines forms in Komunda, deploys them to Komunda platform, and the process is running. Uh, and when Komunda process goes to the form task, the task is created. But instead of going to the task list application, our own app catches that block from Komunda and renders the form. And then it submits the form just like the Komunda task list application doing that. And in addition to that, our application uh, is pulling from the service tasks topics to, and behaves like a worker for external tasks. So here, as you can see, there is ex external implementation of calculate score uh, task. And this is calculate score topic, which is handled by our custom application. And after that, we are doing some score, uh, some decisions for based on score. For decision configuration, there is DMN, which is decision making table. You see here on the left, there are a couple of rules, for example, if score is between 105 and 144 and interest is payments, 
then this client is at medium risk and his pricing strategy is P2. So based on these decisions, we can extend our workflow with extra actions when needed. So let's come back to our application and then I can do some demo. Uh, so let's run our app. So here, um, let's switch to the server, run the server, so that's sorry. Um, <clears throat> run the server. This is NetJS application. And then we already uh, launched the front end app. So here our Angular app. So once we hit start, it asks its Node.js server to fetch the latest version of process definition from Komunda and then ask Komunda to run it. So if we go to cockpit and open uh, program configurator, we see that there, is, there are no instances running. But when we click start, then uh, this is just technical data required for debugging purposes. Uh, so when we refresh this, we can see one process is running here. Give me a second. Yeah, so you can see that process is running here and we are currently showing introduction form. And if we check our internal task list app, we see this form here with company name, type of company and what we're looking for. But we created our separate app, which is technically a custom task list app. So we see the form configured in Commander here. So we can say here like soft journal. We can say this is like general and we are interested in both or not in both, just only in payments. Okay. We can submit this form and then we can see another uh, form here. So let's see, we are series C and what are the typical customers that send payments? And this is both. And then submit. And for end user, that's it. We completed everything. But most of things were done under the hood. So if we go to the history of executions, there is a program configurator. And the latest one in history instances was two minutes ago. We can open it. And, and as you can see, the deposits form was not presented to user because user was not an, uh, interested in deposits. So there was no reason to show that form to the, the user. And Komodo automatically handled that according to the model configured in Komodo modeler. Also, Komodo stores all the history of processes uh, executions. So we can uh, all of that available through Komodo APIs. So we can see, for example, variables history. So everything that we were setting in our forms stored. Also, the score that was calculated by uh, our worker stored here. And then, of course, the decisions made by Komodo, for example, Based on the input, our score is 12 and interest payments. We can say that this customer is uh, risky and we can't offer any uh, pricing strategy to him. So that's all. That's what we basically found the most uh, challenging thing was to understand how the Komodo works under the hood and all of its uh, internal entities. Also, we found the documentation of its low-level REST API, so uh, even their built-in apps using that API. Uh, so there is no obstacles to implement any any custom app that will utilize its abilities, and based from the Example that I just described, but you can see that even non-standard customized, non-standard customized uh, features can be implemented if needed. So, if you are interested in the implementation details, you can take a look on our Commodore Olympia C uh, project on Softjar's GitLab.
and also you can ask your question in the comments thank you bye